My main hypothesis of my PhD, and it is related to this paper, was uh, I wanted to assess if the hypothesis of McKenzie uh, was true or false. By this, I mean when we have a directional preference, are we moving the nucleus pulposus into the radial fissure or not when we have a patient? So I wanted to, so the first steps to do this is to develop the tool. No, first step is to review all the tools that we have in the literature to see if we have something which is able to assess this. And this is a paper of 2025, which was out after the first one, but uh, it's a systematic review in which we review all the uh, study on MRIs that have been done on the, on the, on the disc. And we found no, uh, no, uh, no MRI sequence or MRI tool or any tool that can assess that aspect. By this, I mean, when we have a fissure into the disc, are we able to see the nucleus moving in or out the fissure? So <laughs> I had, I had to develop this tool. So I did, uh, I, I, I start a collaboration with two uh, research laboratories. One is a biomechanics laboratory based in Poitiers and uh, in where I did my PhD. And the second one was in, in Switzerland. It was with, um, with a um, physician of the MRI, not physician like a doctor, but physician like uh, who uh, study uh, physics, uh, the, um, uh, all the um, theoretical part of the MRI. So I, I start the collaboration with this two team and I want, I, came there and I say, okay, here is what I want to do. I want to see first, how, we, how can we create an MRI second that are um, able to see if we have a fissure into the disc or not, because for now we don't have. And second one, I want to see if we are moving the patient in a in different, different position or different way. Are we able to see if the nucleus is moving in or out the fissure? They say, well, fine, let's start. And so we start with a... Uh, with uh, very first steps of the process, so we we use some um, some um, cadaveric piece of uh, of sheep uh, and uh, so disc of sheep and we and we put them into the MRI. So it was very funny. We had the MRI for three days. So the the two million euros uh, tool uh, engine and we put some piece of sh of sheep in it. So it was very very fun. And uh, we 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 put the vertebra in different kind of find different position, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, just to have an idea in which way we could uh, improve the sequence to see better what there is into the disc. And then we do a second round of uh, of experimentation in which we put the hypothesis, we 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 set up our hypothesis, and we test a protocol in which we had uh, a, a ship disc in which we that we put in. Um, flexion, extension, and neutral. And then we do a fissure and we redo the, all the experimentation. And we could see that the nucleus is moving in and out the fissure. So the main goal of the, of the experiment was to see this, to, uh, to see if we are able to see this. So we were able to see this on a cadaveric uh, ship. So it was nice. And then the next step would have been to, to progress to to human cadaver and then to human and uh, unfortunately the covid uh, starts and so end of all the experimentation oh, no. and uh, yes and my and my phd is now is now finished